going to be doing a reading of some poems. And I have these two books here. And they're both green poem books. So, one of them is called Poems by Talcott Minor. It's written in gold on the cover. The other one is called Music and Other Poems by Henry Van Dyke. This one is really pretty on the cover. It has music written on it in gold. And there's little doves going around in a circle. And then we have a string instrument in the middle with what looks like French horns on the side. And this one also has pretty art on the first page. Here we have a woman with a pretty dress and there's some flowers. And the title of the book is Square. We're going to start with this book, and we're going to look for some poems in here, and I'm going to read them, and then I'll conclude with some tapping and book sounds. So, let's get to it. Let me take my glasses off. And, this book, on the front cover, it actually, the spine is falling off, I'm going to have to glue that back together. It has a name written in it. It says Samuel M. Meeker, February 1910. So, as you can see, it's an old book. Very delicate. The pages make nice sounds. So, going to look for some poems in here, and there's some that I really like, so let's first start off with Mist. That one is on page 11. Over the hilltops creeping, spectrally white. Now in thy tender keeping, would I might lie. Cold is thy breath, wet with the dew of heaven. Silent is death, settles the gloom of even under the sky. Restfully sleep, wrapped in a cloudland. Shadows are deep, never a waking dreary come me nigh. Next, what I want to do is when clouds hang low. Page 13. The clouds hang low at break of day and hide the shrouded hills from sight. Their ragged folds of misty gray shut out the glow of dawning light. The fields are wet with standing rain. The forests droop their dripping bows. The birds disconsolate complain, and earth awakes with sullen brows. 
A breeze springs up, the vapor smooth, and sudden rifts reveal the blue. The Lord of Day is close above, and sends a flood of sunlight through. The treetops catch the golden ray, each blade of grass a gem appears. Glad life in song leaps on its way, and earth is smiling through her tears. Then let's do, let's do this one since it's summer. A song for summer. Come, friend scholar, seize your bending over books with eager gaze. Time it were such work had ending, well enough for rainy days. Out with me where sunlight pours, life today is out of doors. Busy? Pshaw, what good can reach you? Frowning o'er that dog-eared page, yonder rushing book can teach you more than half your classic age. Banish Greeks and silent siren shores. Let your thoughts run out of doors. Rest we here where none can spy us, deep in rippling fields of grass. Scented winds blow softly by us. Lazy clouds above us pass. Higher yet, my fancy soars. All my soul is out of doors. of the sun, page 22. High noon, and not a cloud from rim to rim, of the far-stretched horizon, all about rises the sound of life. Here cities spread, black with the hurrying crowds of pygmy men, toiling all day along the narrow streets. Here are broad fields, where myriad insects hum, circling with headlong joy upon the air. Here stand the shaggy mountains with their tops, bare in the yellow sunshine. Far below, there runs a noble river to the sea, whose bosom bears great ships that onward sail, out on the deep, to vanish round the world. The glory of the sun. On the next page, there is the glory of the moon. What ghostly light is this? So still they lie, the lake, the wood, the village in the dale. And if they slept enchanted, not a sound. Breaks midnight's hush. But look, is that a shape of living thing beside the darkling grove, where cold long shadows creep upon the grass? Or is it fancy? How the great moon rides, full queenly, ruling the mysterious night. That was the glory of the moon. Now let's look at Triumphant, page 39. The soul of the music speaks to the organist. Canst thou not feel my life like restless fire, keen to mount upward, pulsing with desire? Canst thou not hear the wild, sweet melody? beating its baffled wings disconsolately against thy harsh dissonances. Oh, let me go. I was not born for measure soft and low. Of flutes and droning aught boys, let the throats of thrilling trumpets peal their loudest notes. Let the great diapason swell with the sound 
while the deep bass with thunder shakes the ground. Lo, how high my spirit revels in its might, and floods the dark old minster with a light that gleams on arch and column, tomb and shrine, and pictured saints that from quaint windows shine, and robes transfigured. Ah, what heavenly dower, cease trembling organist, and own my power. Let's see. Up next, we'll do if on page 64. That's one of my favorites. All the follies of young lips were wise and true. I'd kiss those dainty fingertips and the love but you. If all the fancies of young hearts were sober sense, you'd drop your sweet, coquettish arts in self-defense. It's a cute little short one. From sunny slopes where breezes blow, I love to let my fancy go. Or lake and forest, field and town, to where the misty sky shuts down. So are your eyes a landscape fair, and many a grace delights me there. But more I seek, and yet would fain, a height untrod by mortal gain, to see my land of promise lie like faint blue hills against the sky. My true love hath my heart. My true love hath my heart, and I have his. Sweet record of a mutual triumph won. I envy the possession of such bliss, for my love hath my heart, but I have none. I think I'm going to move on to the other book. Music and Other Poems. This one is also really old. It says it was published in 1904. both of these books and some other poem books from my English teacher my senior year of high school. They were in a big box and all of them are really old. So I got some to take home because I really like poems and now I get to read them. So this one is split in two different parts. And each part has several parts to it, so I'm only going to read some of them because they're pretty long. But it's split into odes, sonnets, legends, lyrics. <sighs> Greetings 
and inscriptions. And this one, I think I have some pages marked. So I'll look at those first. Let me find them. Okay. This is a short one called One World. The worlds in which we live are two, the world I am and the world I do. The worlds in which we live at heart are one, the world I am, the fruit of I have done. And underneath these worlds of flower and fruit, the world I love, the only living root. Katrina's sundial. Hours fly, flowers die, new days, new ways pass by, love stays. Time is too slow for those who wait, too swift for those who fear, too long for those who grieve, too short for those who rejoice, but for those who love, time is not. I'm going to read one part of the very first ode in this book called Ode to Music, and it's written as a suite where it has nine parts, and each part is a separate poem, so I'm going to read the seventh part called Dance Music. Now let the sleep tune blend with the play tune weaving the mystical spell of the dance. Lighten the deep tune, soften the gay tune, mingle a tempo that turns in a trance. Half of it sighing, half of it smiling, smoothly it swings with a triplicate beat, calling, replying, yearning, beguiling, wooing the heart and bewitching the feet. Every drop of blood rises with the flood, rocking on the waves of the strain. Youth and beauty glide, turning with the tide, music making one out of twain, bearing them away and away and away, like a tone and it stirs, till the chord dissolves and the dancers stay and reverse. Violins leading, take up the measure, Turn with the tune again, clarinets clear answer their pleading, harps full of pleasure, sprinkle their silver like light on the mirror, semi-quaver notes, merry little notes, tangled in the haze of the lamp's golden rays, quiver everywhere in the air like a spray, till the fuller stream of the might of the tune, gliding like a dream in the light of the moon, bears them all away and away away, floating in the trance of the dance. Then begins a measure stately, languid, slow, serene. All the dancers move sedately, stepping leisurely and straightly with a courtly mien, crossing hands and changing places, bowing long between, while the minuet enlaces, waving arms and woven places, Glittering dance damaskine, where is she whose form is folded in its royal sheen? From her longing eyes withholden by her mystic girdle golden, beauty sought but never seen. Music walks the maze, a queen.
is with a section on sonnets. So we'll do, since we've been kind of on the theme of music and love, let's do this one called Love. And it says it's from May 1902. Let me but love my love without disguise, nor wear a mask of fashion old or new, nor wait to speak till I can hear a clue, nor play a part to shine in others' eyes, nor bow my knees to what my heart denies. But what am I to that let me be true, and let me worship where my love is due, and so through love and worship let me rise. For love is but the heart's immortal thirst, thirst, to be completely known and all forgiven, even as sinful souls that enter heaven. So take me, dear, and understand my worst, and freely pardon it, because confessed, and let me find it in loving thee, my best. Love's Reason, February 1904. For that thy face is fair, I love thee not, nor yet because the light of thy bright eyes hath gleams of wonder and of glad surprise, like woodland streams that cross a sunlit spot. Nor for thy beauty, born without a blot, most perfect when it shines through no disguise. Pure as the star of Eve in paradise, for all these outward things I love thee not. But for a something in thy form and face, thy looks and ways of primal harmony, a certain soothing charm, a vital grace, that breathes of eternal womanly, and makes me feel the warmth of nature's breast when in her arms and thine I sink to rest. Let's look at the lyrics section. seek. All the trees are sleeping, all the winds are still, all the flocks of fleecy clouds have wandered past the hill. Through the noonday silence, down the woods of June, hark, a little hunter's voice comes running with a tune. Hide and seek, when I speak, you must answer me. Call again, merry men, cooey, cooey, cooey. Now I hear his footsteps rushing, rustling through the grass. Hidden in my leafy nook, shall I let him pass? Just a low, soft whistle. Quick, the hunter turns, leaps upon me laughing, rolls me in the ferns. Hold him fast, caught at last. Now you're it, you see. Hide your eye till I cry, cooey. Cooey, cooey. Part two. Long ago he left me, long and long ago. Now I wander through the world and seek him high and low. Hidden safe and happy in some pleasant place. Ah, if I could hear his voice, I soon should find his face. Far away, many a day, where can Barney be? Answer, dear. Don't you hear? Cooey, cooey, cooey. Birds that in the springtime thrilled his heart with joy. Flowers he loved to pick for me. Mind me of my boy. Surely he is waiting till my steps come nigh. Love may hide itself a while, but love can never die. Heart be glad. The little lad will call some day to thee. Father dear, heaven is here. Cooey, cooey. January 1900. Let's do three more. Okay. First one is going to be Reliance from October 1903. Not to the swift the race, 
Not to the strong the fight, not to the righteous perfect grace, not to the wise the light. But often faltering feet come surest to the goal, and they who walk in darkness meet the sunrise of the soul. A thousand times by night the Syrian hosts have died, a thousand times the vanquished right hath risen glorified. The truth the wise men sought was spoken by a child. The alabaster box was brought in trembling hands defiled. Not from my torch the gleam, but from the stars above. Not from my heart life's crystal stream, but from the depths of love. Next, what I'm going to do is the hearthstone. When logs are burning free, when the fire is full of glee, when each heart gives out its best, then the talk is full of zest. Light your fire and never fear. Life was made for love and cheer. And the last one is going to be, actually no, I'll do two more. I'm going to do one called the sundial. Time can never take what time did not give. When my shadows have all passed, you shall live. Just because that was a really short one, so I'm going to do another one. This is also about a sundial. The sundial at Wells College. March 1904. The shadow by my finger cast divides the future from the past. Before it sleeps the unborn hour in darkness and beyond thy power. Behind its unreturning line, the vanished hour no longer thine. One hour alone is in thy hands, the now on which the shadow stands. March 1904. And that concludes our reading of the poems. And I will finish the video with some sounds from the book. And this one this little piece of paper from an old newspaper. It looks really old. The color is really brown. But it has another poem on it by the same author. Oh. Let's make some sounds with this. 